So there's lots of different living on campus. Uh, one of the places that you can also choose to live is here in South Hall. South Hall's for upperclassmen living, so you have to be at least 20 or have junior standing to live here. So my friends Dana and Mickey let me check out their apartment here. Um, this is a two bedroom apartment and you have your own kitchen, uh, living space, bathroom and bedrooms as well. So it can be a great opportunity for people that don't necessarily want to live in a traditional dorm, uh, but have your own space that you can have your own bedroom um, and some of you know, your own living area as well. So let's take a look. Alright, so here we are in the Chinese wing of Hong International Hall that we just walked into. We're going to take a look here in the showroom. So this is a room that we show for um, prospective students when they come and visit campus. And what I really like about this room is it's very, very standard for PLU rooms. You know, I feel like some colleges, um, when it comes to showing showrooms, they always show the bis the biggest, the best um, room that we have on campus. Um, this is super standard for what you'll see if you do come to PLU. Um, so for some of these sort of rooms, um, this is where in Hong, across is Hinderley. They have very, very similar layout rooms. Um, and then we also have our newer residence halls in uh, Stewin and Ordal, which is uh, on upper campus as well, that have a little bit even nicer rooms than this. But if we take a look at some of the different options and we'll take a look at some of these rooms, all of them look pretty similar. So we have Tinglestad there that we were in the other day. There's Ordal Hall, Stewin, South Hall, we'll take a look in one of those apartments a little bit later, Kreidler, Flieger, and Harstad. So Harstad probably is the biggest rooms. Actually, Harstad used to be the only building at PLU. Um, when it was first PLC, as I was mentioning earlier, um, all of PLU was actually located on inside of Harstad. All of those um, residence halls and those rooms were actually buildings and they were uh, classrooms. And then as we expanded and got bigger, they actually changed um, from being just a classroom into being a residence hall. So Harson is the only all-female residence hall on campus. Every other residence hall on campus is um, kind of co-gender. Um, typically they're organized gender by, by wing. And so you'll have one wing of like men returning, the other one of uh, female returning or female first year, etc. cetera. Um, but then we also have some special wings. And so for example, in Hong International Hall, each of the wings are themed for a specific language or international honors. Um, in Hinderley, we also have our uh, wing for creative expression, which is our creative expression hall. There's also a uh, gender uh, inclusive wing. And so uh, for gender non-binary or uh, individuals of any gender, they're welcome to stay in that wing. I actually stayed in the uh, gender inclusive wing in Tinglestad my first semester sophomore year. And so I lived with um, other men, women, and non-binary individuals. And so um, it was very inclusive um, and a great space that really didn't worry about gender. In Student Art Hall, we also have some different um, wings there as well. We have a wing for uh, first generation students that I identifies first generation. We have a lavender wing, that's which, is, which is explicitly focused on the LGBTQ community, um, and other uh, first in the family um, wings and some other uh, diversity and justice sustainability uh, wings that we have that are available. So there's lots of different options in terms of housing when you come on campus. There will be one place for everybody and there's multiple places. In Tinglestad there's a lot of our sports teams, um, a lot of our language students live here in Hong, um, but ultimately there's a place for you to live on campus if you're interested in it. We have two upper division places uh, on campus as well. One is South Hall which is more apartment style living. So we have two, four, and six bedroom apartments in South Hall. And we also have our Kreidler Hall, which is more of the suite style, uh, one bedroom, kind of open space, have a room to yourself kind of location as well. So to live in those, you have to be at least junior standing or 20 years old. Um, and to live in any of those upper division housing options. So there is guaranteed housing on campus all four years here at PLU if you're interested. For me, after my first couple of years, I did move off campus. Um, so I'm off campus right now in a house. We'll take a look at that price a little bit later. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what it looks like if you were to live on campus. Um, you know, this computer is pretty ancient here. You know, this has been a showroom for a while. For some people that do have those desktop, that's the case. But yeah, you know, for if you're looking to kind of come to PLU and want to see some of those options, yeah, this is what our what a typical room would be like here.